Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Wrestling fans, promoters, wrestlers, and anyone who enjoys pro wrestling now have something new to be excited about. The Wrestling Fans International Association, the WFIA, is back. WFIA is an association that exists to promote, grow, and support professional wrestling throughout the world. Membership is free. Your membership includes a free, digital, bi-monthly publication of the Wrestling Fan News newsletter, association updates, voting privileges, and much more. Please go to thewfia.org, that's T-H-E-W-F-I-A.org, and become a member today. Everybody to the 1987 Super Mod. I am your host Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Federation. That's right, everybody. The WWF is back in action, live and in living color with Wrestling Challenge. All right, Wrestling Challenge is a B show, so we're going to expect a smaller audience. So we will not be able to run the traditional realistic arena that the WWF actually ran. So we are going to go off of this down here. So we're going to look. Uh, we'll run Tri-State just for the heck of it. Why not? Uh, let's go for a max of 4,000. And let's see what kind of an arena we can get. And then we'll secure a sellout this way. And we'll go down to... 3,000 for the heck of it. Oh, not six, but three. There we go, 3,000. And here we go. All right, so let's see what is Manette Hall, Henrietta, New York, Utica Memorial Coliseum. I like Utica Memorial Coliseum. We're going to select the Utica Memorial Coliseum. Uh, looks like Challenge was really run in the Louisville Garden. Um, we can take a look and see if we could actually do that, but I have a feeling we're not going to be able to do that because the Louisville Gardens is pretty big. Yeah, Louisville Garden was 5,000. Well, yeah, I'd rather have the sellout. So, okay, that's settled. Let's take a look at our absent workers for tonight. Uh, nobody but who we expect to be out. So that's good. Uh, let's take a look at our backstage instance. Scott Casey's got himself in some trouble here. He turned up very late. We are going to find him because the WWF did not play around. The only one that got away with crap on a regular basis was Shawn Michaels for some reason. All right, Jimmy Hart got into it with Bruno San Martino here. And uh, we got that one straightened out, so that's a good thing. All right, let's take a look at our card for this evening, everybody. We're going to have three, count it, three dark matches. We are going to see David San Martino in action. We're going to see Sam Houston in the ring. And we are going to see the tag team of Boris Zhukov and Nikolai Volkov, the Bolsheviks. Uh, on our main card, we're going to see Dangerous Danny Davis. The Islanders will be in action. Greg the Hammer Valentine is going to be in singles action. Our main event is going to feature the Killer Bees, everybody. That is B. Brian Blair and Jumpin' Jim Brunzel. We are going to see some promos here with uh, both Greg Valentine and the Killer Bees cutting promos, and we're also going to see Control Center with Gene Okerlund. Yeah! All right, everybody. These, of course, are all squash matches. That's what Challenge was, and we're going to have some fun here with this one. So with all that said, everybody, let's get to booking. 
So here we go. Enhancement here, pre-show, dark match, and we are going to have Ryder, Buddy Ryder, that is, versus David San Martino. Buddy Ryder also wrestled in California, I believe, and I think he's in the game also working for them. Uh, no. I don't believe that's the case. Yeah, I don't believe that's the case. All right, here is Buddy Ryder, and here is David San Martino. Was not thinking. All right, David San Martino is going to get the win. I think we found a much better picture of David San Martino than the picture of him in his mid 30s when he made his WCW comeback that was in there originally. This one should be a five minute bout. Let me double check that. Yes, sir, five minute bout, and we're good to go. All right, up next, we have another dark match here, of course. These shows are a good opportunity to put dark matches in there and get some people some work. And we are going to have Barry O versus Sam Houston. Sam Houston's still a while yet for making his television debut. And these matches are good. So here is Barry O. He doesn't mind taking the loss. Here is Sam Houston. And Houston with the win here, everybody. All right, that one is booked, and up next we have our tag match. Pre-show, dark, and who do we have in there against the Bolsheviks? We have Cortez and K-9. So Cortez and K-9 versus the Bolsheviks. Of course, we just got Boris Zhukov in the WBF not too long ago, so this team is brand new. Right, here is Jesse Cortez. Here is his partner, Canadian Johnny K9. Very interesting man. There was a dark side of the ring against him. And here are the Bolsheviks. Right, we are going to have newcomer Boris Zhukov get the win for his team. They, of course, are managed by none other than Slick. And now we move on to our main card here, which is really just four matches. So we're going to have. Jim Evans versus Dangerous Danny Davis here. And this, of course, is going to be another five-minute bout. Squash matches were an important part of wrestling. And I think it's a shame that they're not in existence anymore and not used the way they were. The closest thing is probably the AEW Dark shows. And even those go too long and aren't true squash matches. I watched a, a match on Dark. Oh my goodness, it was Britt Baker versus this young girl. And they're hitting like all these major spots and all this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, this is supposed to be just a simple squash match. What are you doing? I like Britt, Britt Baker. I think she's very good on the microphone. She's a hit with the fans. She's well-liked. She's a very talented woman. She is not very good in the ring. And she needs help. And... If she left there and went to WWE, she'd probably be trained properly and would be a megastar. But she just really doesn't know what she's doing. And you know what? I shouldn't say that, that she needs to go to WWE. There are a ton of people in AEW that can help her if she trained. I mean, you have Dean Malenko there. The Malenkos are known as world-class trainers. Um, I realize he's a sick man nowadays, but if you're trying to say that he still doesn't know what to do, you're crazy. They also have Jerry Lynn there. They have Arn Anderson. You have a lot of people there that know what they're doing. All right, so we have Control Center with Gene Okerlund up next. Uh, we're going to put Gene Okerlund, host Control Center. For those of you unfamiliar, when I was a kid, one of the most exciting things <laughs> was seeing Gene Okerlund talk with all those. Uh, uh, screens around him, all the monitors around him with all the wrestling on him. It was really cool. He would hype, uh, he'd just pretty much give a rundown of like that week's status of WWF. And he would give, um, this stupid thing. He would give, uh, uh, storyline rundowns, upcoming events, that kind of stuff. Eventually there would be event center that would be hosted. But uh, this was Control Center first. So here we go. Gene Oakland's hosting Control Center. That'll probably get us a nice score. And up next, we have Sam Cody and Pete Sanchez.
five minutes. So we have Cody and Sanchez versus the Islanders. Here is Sam Cody. Here is Pete Sanchez. And here are the vicious Islanders. I believe one of them is carrying an injury. Yep, Tom is carrying the injury. That's okay. This is light work for him. Haku will get the win here, everybody. And up next here, we are going to have Greg Valentine cut a promo. I have to double check to see who would be holding the stick for him. And it would be Gene Okerlund. All right, cool. All right, so Greg Valentine cuts a promo with Gene. I was going to say he cuts a promo. So here is Greg Valentine. This is a B show, so I'm not too worried about the score. Here is Gene Okerlund. And I think Valentine's in a feud. Yes, the new Dream Team. It's been a while, everybody, since I have uh, messed with this save. Weeks. So I'm a little bit... Uh, Got to get back in the groove here. All right, here is I'm a little bit rusty, I was trying to say. And here we go. We will have Greg Valentine get rated on entertainment. Good. So that one's booked. And up next, we have in the ring with Greg Valentine. is going to be Tommy Sharp. So here we go. Five minutes. Sharp versus Valentine. And here is Tommy Sharp. Here is Greg Valentine. The hammer gets the win here, everybody. And up next, we have the Killer Bees. They're going to be cutting a promo. They are in a feud with Demolition. I will double check that. The Killer Bees cut a promo. So here is B. Brian Blair. Here is Jumpin' Jim. They don't do the greatest of promos, but they're not awful. Uh, they're underrated because they did do a pretty good promo. Here is Mean Gene Okerlund. Yes. And we're going to double check they're in that feud with Demolition. They are, yes. So they're going to be talking about Demolition Axe and Demolition Smash. Demolition's off screen. We're all set here on this one. Uh, I must have accidentally. Huh. What did we do wrong here? Ooh. The squash matches should be three minutes. That's what it is. Yep. Get that fixed up here. Yeah. And there's our time for our main event. And it should be Frankie Lane and Al Navarro. Al Navarro was a big dude. Lane and Navarro versus the Killer Bees. There's our main event. I think it's four minutes we can get away with for this one. So here is Frankie Lane. End of his career. Really good hand in his day. There's Al Navarro. And here are the Killer Bees. We will have Brian Blair get the win here. And bam, we're right there, everybody. All right, let's run this one here, and let's see how we do. There was the mistake, the Islanders. No. No problem at all. All right, we're ready to run this one. Let's see how we do, everybody. All right, Ryder and San Martino. San Martino gets the win with that torture rack, 32 overall. We have Barry Owen, Sam Houston, 28, 42, and a 30 gets a 28. What the hell? Experience, holding back, fair enough. All right, Cortez and Johnny K9 against the Bolsheviks. The Bolsheviks get the win with that double body slam that they would do. 67, 
46, 45, 39, nets us a 46 overall. And we have a lot of green here. Green equals money. Let's see what our takeaways are. We've got holding back business, fatigue, yada, yada, yada. What are you going to do? All right, up next here we have Jim Evans and Dangerous, Dangerous Danny Davis in our opener. And Danny Davis gets the win with that top rope butt drop. If any of you know what that finisher was actually called, you let me know. Because I don't know what the hell it was called. He just did a butt drop off the top rope. <laughs> so it was almost like a Vader bomb, really. Um, reverse Vader bomb. But I don't know what it was called. If you know what it was called, let me know and I'll make the adjustment. All right, Control Center with Gene Okerlund gets a 78. Don't always count on Mean Gene to get the big numbers. And here we go, Cody and Sanchez against the Islanders. The Islanders get the win, 51 overall. And, of course, they're held back by that injury on Tama. Totally understandable. Lots of green here. Green equals money. The Islanders are doing well with Bobby Heenan. I don't know how the WWF ever tried to make Tama a babyface. That guy has the meanest-looking face I've ever seen. All right, Greg Valentin cuts his promo here. and gets a 73. That's an outstanding promo for Greg Valentine, the former Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. We've got a lot of green here. Green equals money. Tommy Sharp against Greg Valentine. Valentine submits him with that figure four. I don't think Valentine was using the shin guard yet at this point, which I always thought was a great gimmick, and nobody's used it since. That shin guard was awesome. All right. Here we go. The Killer Bees cut their promo with Gene Oakland. They get a 67 here. Continues their feud with Demolition. Good stuff indeed. And up next year, everybody, comes our big main event, which is Frankie Lane and Al Navarro against the Killer Bees. And the Bees win with that B stinger, everybody. 83, 79, 45, 26. We net a 61 overall. Lots of green here. Green equals the money. That's right. Got holding back business inexperience. What are you going to do? All right, that's going to wrap this one up, everybody, and we're going to be ready for our next edition of Challenge, and we're going to cover that one in the next episode, everybody. I have decided to break these up and not have such long episodes, and I figure that would be easy, uh, easier on you, the listener. All right, so we'll adjust the spreadsheet here, and uh, yes, we are good to go there. Who do we got in this next one? King Kong Bundy in the main event. That should be entertaining. I laid this out quite some time ago, so I don't exactly remember it. All right, that's going to do it, everybody, for this one. For those of you who are looking for us on social media, you can find us on Facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Supermat. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW 2020 Friends. Don't forget Discord, everybody, 1987 Supermod. For those of you that are looking for more, we have more. Check it out on patreon.com slash powercast network. Over there, you will find all of our shows early and YouTube ad free. You will also find all of our spreadsheets and all of our super mod content, everybody. It costs the cup for a cup of coffee $5, everybody. Just $5 will get you access to everything that I just stated and so much more. So check it out today, everybody. Powercast Network. That's over on Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow back in action with the WWF.